So what's the goal of uh, US VOT? Well, we want to do a couple of things. We want to make um, easy to assemble kits available for people that are interested in vertical axis wind turbines. Uh, we want to make them efficient. And we also want to make available alternators um, that people can use with their own wing designs. Uh, for instance, they could use them with the lens type uh, lift wings. Um, and basically just uh, you know bring VOTs to uh, the residential size uh, market instead of you know the gigantic um, fifteen thousand dollar vertical axis wind turbines that you know most people aren't going to put in their um, yard anyway that's what we want to do and um, it's a lot of fun and it's just fun to be part of making this finally really happen um, one of the goals is to make uh, home size kits that can put out you know a hundred watts doesn't sound like a lot but when you add it up over time it is um, nice adjunct to solar panels um, they're quiet. Um, they're fun to watch. Um, anyway, we're having a good time. All right, what I want to show you is uh, what's different about our alternator. This is this is the classic sort of Hugh Piggott design axial flux uh, permanent magnet alternator. This one happens to be a WinGen kits, and this is a great alternator. Um, you can see the big coils in here. There's nine of them. Two magnet plates. So basically this one, um, this will hit about 12 volts at 120 RPM. And one of the issues that I, I have with this is it's very difficult to mount. You've got to mount it way out here on the perimeter. And then you've got to figure out how to mount this plate just perfect with its air gap and um, so one of the challenges is to get a alternator that will produce power at low RPMs that we like for our VOTS because VOTS put out a lot of torque but don't put out the RPM that a horizontal axis wind turbine does so this was really designed for horizontal, uh, horizontal axis wind turbines not for um, our vertical axis wind turbine. So I'll show you what we've made. So the idea is to create a pole mounted, this mounts into this pole, a pole mounted alternator. And this alternator weighs about 15 pounds. A little over three pounds of it is uh, copper. And if you compare that to the the Jinlong, which is 33 pounds, 33 or 35 pounds, it has three pounds of copper. Um, so one of the advantages is this is pole mount ready. Um, it's also been designed to put out charge voltage at various different RPMs. So for instance, this one will put out um, 14 volts at 60 RPM, which is great for our VOTs because a lot of the drag type VOTs will start putting out a well, fair, de you know, a decent RPM at uh, six, seven mile per hour winds, but they're just not going to generate the RPM. So this type of alternator can produce at those RPMs. This one happens to be a grid tie inverter model. So this one is going to put out closer to 24, 28 volts. Um, it'll cut in at 60, or we can design it to cut in at 150. Um, ideally, the VOTs we're making are going to run at, sweet spot would be 180 to 240. I've had them up to uh, 300 RPM. This one is um, actually designed for a 3 foot by 3 foot VOT. Um, we can stretch that up to, oh, um, four foot diameter, three foot wings, and get a little more power in the wind out of it. But again, this is designed for low RPM, lots of power at low RPM, which is really a trick. Um, the only other alternators out there commercially available are the automotive type conversions that have permanent magnets in them. Um, the Wind Blue, the Jin Long, um, Windy Nation, 
Um, as far as I know, this is the first um, axial flux permanent magnet alternator out there without steel lamination, so it doesn't cog. This will just spin. So it takes very little wind to get this thing to spin. Whereas with a cogging alternator, you will need to get above probably six, seven miles per hour to get it to go. Not a big deal. And really, I'm not trying to uh, put down other alternators, just point out the difference. Um, this is specifically designed for vertical axis wind turbines. Trying to take these others and modify them so that they'll work with vertical axis wind turbines has been a real it's been a real problem for me. So this is kind of like a dream come true because I can design this to run it. 50, 60 RPM and put power out, which is nice. Can't do that with the um, the other alternators that are out there. One other thing I wanted to show you is uh, this alternator is made with um, stainless steel shaft, um, all aluminum. Um, the bearings are lubricated um, bronze bearings for long life. So really, uh, you know, they've been reamed for this. Um, Half inch shaft. So basically, there's no uh, there's no wear going to happen on these. Um, inside here, we've got bearings, so this is designed to rest on its bearing. And uh, so basically, this is designed for a VOT. It can be converted to um, work with hydropower. Um, it could be converted to work with um, a horizontal axis wind turbine. But right now, we're sticking with you know, developing these for the, the bots. Um, to get this to work for hydropower or say a bicycle power, basically we get a bearing carrier on both sides of this. So I have one bearing here, one on the other side, and basically a pulley system to turn it. Um, the power output would come out of the shaft. So this can be converted. It can be uh, wired to, you know, run at much higher RPM. Um, the aim with this is, how are you going to get a lot of voltage, low resistance, so you can get the amps. It's kind of like trying to spray water through a tiny, tiny little tube if your resistance is too high. To get the maximum amount of energy, you've got to have you know, a lot of force behind the water. You've got to have a big hose. So that's what we've achieved with this. Basically, we can get a lot of voltage and not restrict the current flow with um, too small a wire. So we get good power out of these at low RPM. I think it's a first. So I'm really pleased with this. Anyway, um, thanks for watching.